Hello everybody, my name is Paper Spyro here, and we're back for part... Is this 17? I think it's 17. It better be 17. I'm like, pretty sure it's actually 17. Let me double check on that real quick. While this is playing. Do to do to do, exploring folders. Um, yes, the, no, this is actually 16. My bad. I could, I, I swear I already uploaded a 16 though. Ah, whatever. Maybe I misnumbered something on YouTube. I'll check that afterwards. Anyway, in this part, we are back here in Fracture Hills. Why Fracture Hills? Because we did almost nothing here and we need to do some backtracking. Because we have Head Bash. So, for the most part, until I have something to say, I think I'm just going to speed this up. Because this is just the usual gem collecting and everything, and I have to get through two episodes here, so until I have something interesting to point out, let's just speed this up and play music. And we're back. So, up till this point, everything you've seen, you've already seen. That made a whole lot of sense, but up till this point, uh, pretty much everything that's been going on in this episode, you've already seen before. So, let's just go down here, and I guess we'll talk to her. She gives us our first mission of this episode. My friend is stuck in this room and lost the key, so we'll have to get that back for her. We need... I can't go through there, because I don't have the supercharge. We need to kill two more thingies. So, let's go down here first, because there's gems and stuff down here. Even though we really can't do a whole lot down here yet. We have to wait for later for that. These guys you get to take out by knocking them in the lava. So just be kind of careful that you don't get yourself hurt with their pig axes. Okay, I knocked that guy out in one shot, really. That's enough to break down the gate for now. We don't need to kill all of them if we don't have to. So let's break down the gate and make our first attempt at this thing. Oh, and of course I smash one of them with the supercharge. Attempt number two. And I always thought you could do it that way for a while, but it, I haven't managed to pull it off yet. I like how they kind of creep back there. And of course I fail. Oh well, we'll gather the couple gems here. You have to make it all the way around, I think. I don't think there's really any shortcuts. Uh, let's go talk to this guy, because this mission is somewhat annoying. Just watch yourself when wa when walking through that field. Because those earth shapers are kind of annoying. That's the actual name for them. And of course, this guy is even more annoying. Excuse me, sir. Talk to me. Okay, yes, this guy's kind of annoying. So you got to be kind of careful here, because, of course, he can't go the easy way. 
He has to go the long way around. So just kind of push them. And then you get to have that happen. So this may take quite a few takes. So I'm just going to cut to my successful one now. So he follows uh, the same path every time for the most part. Just go down here and knock this guy out of the way. You might have to do it two times if you're fast like I am. Don't worry about that guy. Just come over here and hit this guy. I'm talking kind of fast. I apologize. And the glam gems are glitching through the cliff thing. Don't hit him, please. I want to get this over with. We're already like 17 minutes into the recording. Then I'll come back over here. We gotta knock this guy out of the way. Excuse me, good sir. Stop touching me. Alright, now watch out for this guy. Because then he's gonna do a trick and come back here. Camera. And. As stupid as that was, we just got past it. Man, do my feet feel better. So yeah, you could do that before, but the reason you don't want to do that is because there's a second challenge here now that you have Hunter free. As long as you're Um, because you have to have head bash for this, and you can't do this if you don't have head bash. And if you do the first challenge when you don't have head bash and then you're gonna die no that's not my point if you do the first challenge and you don't or the first challenge and you don't have head bash to do the second challenge you have to do the first challenge all over again first challenge is not all that difficult but still ow excuse me sir so just kinda of follow hunter around and just be careful with yourself Ow. No, he got up because I got hit by that guy. Okay, I'm going to cut to my su successful As attempt well. now. Yes, let's just move this. Alright, let's go quickly. Go. And there we go. We, we got the challenge it. done. That was like take five or something. Not as many as the other challenge, I don't think. But either way, we're halfway through the episode now because we have to go do more backtrack. Oh, wait, we're not even done here yet. Never mind. Uh, do I want to speed more of this up? Nah, I have some cut attempts of that to take out. So, my apologies if this is going to be an extremely long episode, but I want to get stuff done here. So, actually, I'm going to start taking out a bunch of these guys, so let's just go super speed for this. As much stuff I can speed up, the better. So, right back. And as well, I'm going to start, uh trying to make runarounds too, so let's see where this gets us.
And there we go. I got that done. So let's talk to her real quick. Oh, thank goodness. Yeah, whatever. Just give the uh, orb, please. Thank you. Okay, now we just have to get that locked chest real quick. And by the way, there is a skill point. I know that if you go around this lab all th or three times, you get a skill point. So I'm not going to be getting that. If any of you want to get that and post it as a video response, feel free. I'll accept it. If it's not automatically accepted, I don't know what my settings are in terms of that, but I don't particularly care. And as well, there's stuff up here that I missed. So let's get that real quick, and then I'm just going to cut to my successful attempt where I run and get the thing, the, the chest, the locked container. How many, how many gems do we have now? We're, at th we're only at 25, so... I guess it makes sense then, so there's going to be 25 gems in that chest, so I'll be right back when I manage to hit it. You should know how, just take the loop. Look, we have been. There we go, got it! Yes, awesomeness. Okay, so I'll replay that for you guys, and I'll slow it down slightly, so that you can... Yeah, I know, what a difference between speed up and slow down. But, uh... Yeah, I'll replay that and slow it and show it slightly slower sh so that you guys can see what is going on. And my god, I gotta stop saying words and start with S. Anyway, I'm gonna meet you guys in. Uh, where else do we have to go? Uh, sh I'll meet you guys there anyway. Bye. And Shady Oasis is the place's name. So, we're going into Shady Oasis, because we're going to do something. And again, as with before, we're just going to hit the speed up button here, and let double speed and a little awesome music from video games take the rest of this through the level that we've already been through. Right back. And now we're back here. Spiral. And now we have a bunch of thieves that are in the halls, so we have to go get them real quick. So I'm just going to cut to their locations, because I think they're all in the path we came from. So yeah, I'm just going to cut to their locations and to the chase, quite literally. So, uh, yeah, right back. Don't really have to cut for this one. I was only probably cut away for like five seconds. But whatever, we'll cut it anyway. I don't know if you can flame these guys either. Get out of the way, wall. Okay, you can flame them then. Because I'm pretty sure I didn't run into them. Alright, let's get checkpointed. And down here, there's... N I'll be right back. So the second thief is over here. And I went the wrong way, because you're supposed to go the other way, apparently. So let's go the other way. There we go. Got him. Back for the first thief in a minute, unless it's somewhere I haven't gone yet. In that case, well, I'll be back here. Okay, never mind. The third thief is actually down here, so just jump down, but be careful not to glide all the way down. And, as you can see, there's the one of the disappearing bottle things that are so annoying. 
Got him. Okay, then there we go. And I didn't mean to really jump there. Thank and we got pulled up up here, and then we get an orb. And I drop my controller. Forty-nine. Jeez. I think that's only fifteen more to go. So we got some other stuff down here, as well as gems. And if we would have come down here originally, you would have seen that there was a chest down here that's not breakable. But now we can break it and get 20 gems off it. So we wouldn't be able to get that earlier. Um, a couple of gems back here and then a rocket. And then me yawning. I'm probably going to edit that out, though. Um, let's get this chicken thing over here. I guess these are peacocks. Uh, I guess. Let's not run off the cliff. That would not be beneficial to our health. And then there's some... Uh, baskets in the thing up there. Let's go over here and get these real quick. And we'll talk to that guy. I don't know if we've seen one of these yet. Yeah, we have. Never mind. We saw one of those in, like, the Skidless Badlands level, I think. Okay, yeah, we're gonna help him and get his eight brothers. It's not a very difficult thing. Just go over something and... fail, like, because you're me. Is that it? Nope, one more. Okay. And there we go. Challenge completed. And then after this, I think we're just going to make a couple of quick cuts until I realize where uh, I left gems behind. I know there's a couple over here, and there's some from that basket that we got. So, and I think we have to chase this some more. Yeah. And you can see sparks over there in the distance. So, I'm going to cut to the next gem location to save time on this already long episode. Oh wait, there's this right here. Then it goes right back to the beginning. Right, so I guess I don't really need to cut, because the rest of the gems are right here and then right in that beginning area. Unless there's something I'm missing. Which there very well may be. Oh no, there's green gems here. Okay. 88, 89, 90... I'm missing something. Be right back. Just when I thought I wasn't gonna have to cut. Ah, there's a few more up here. I didn't really have to cut. That was only like a couple seconds from when I stopped talking. Well, either way, uh, as you can see, we got the level entirely complete. We got all the enemies too, even. Which isn't required in this game, which is another reason this game somewhat is weird to me. You're not required to kill all the enemies to go for 100%. But you are in the other spirals because they give you gems. But either way, enough me rambling on about why this is my least favorite spire game in the series. This is going to be all for part 16, I think we said this was. So, no more backtracking done. And as you can see here, unless I'm mistaken, we should have everything in the first two worlds complete. Hundreds down the line and then hundreds down the line on this page and then the 100 here and then we have uh, five more levels and then the final boss to go because the speedway is not listed there so you know this has been Paper Spyro and in part 17 we start off the third home world Bye bye